Hello Leo, welcome to your elemental love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In partnership or seeking partnership with a water sign, so a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. If you are a Leo who wandered in here and is looking for a different elemental sign, please go to my channel if you're looking for a reading with an air sign or a fire sign as those videos have already been released. Or check back next week when earth signs are um, released. That being said, just kind of want to give everybody the general statement here. As this is a general reading, not all the information or energies would be available in this read, so it may or may not resonate with you. And also don't make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading. If you're looking for something specific, please do get a private reading. And for me, that information is in the detail box down below this video. If this does not resonate, that's okay. It just means I wasn't tuned into your energy. Please check your moon, your rising, your Venus signs for additional messages, or even to get a comprehensive overview of all the messages coming through for you at this time. All right. So we are going to be taking a <clears throat> look into your past energies, your current energies, and future energies for you, your partner, and the energy between the two of you. Okay, that being said, let's go ahead and, and jump right into this. All right, Leo, for the first thing out for you in past energy, we have the Three of Cups. So this is being in a place of celebration, having a good time happy joyous moments the energy between you is the five of cup or five of wands so this is conflict this is disagreements now this could be again the energy between you so there was definitely some fighting and we their person has the eight of cups so walking away um this could have been a third party situation for some of you but overall i get the sense of somebody was happy somebody was not and it led to conflict here in the past Current energy, we have the High Priestess for you. So this is, you know, divine knowledge. This is secrets, things that have not been revealed. Wisdom and intuition. The energy between you is the Page of Cups, so, or Page of Pentacles, excuse me. So this is a small, but, but grounded, stable offer being made or presented. It's nothing big or major, but it is, it is an offer. And your partner, they have the Four of Cups. So this is being in a place of being bored, unhappy dejected, kind of waiting for something else to come along, something that's going to excite them. And we're going to get clarification on this. Future energies here, we have the Ace of Cups, Justice, and I'm going to turn this a little bit. There you guys go. And as the energy between you, so this is balancing out of those scales. And your partner, your person has the Three of Swords. So this is that heartbreak, pain, betrayal and love <clears throat> the overall energy here is the sun your energy leo this happiness joyfulness getting back to the life of spontaneity just living from a place of peace and enjoyment the bottom of the deck we have the fool so this is a brand new beginning a going on the fool's journey taking that proverbial leap of faith into the unknown not knowing how or what and this is going to turn out Okay, so with the energies on the board, let's go ahead and get some clarifications and see what's actually going on here underneath the surface. Spirit team, can we please clarify the Three of Cups for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? In the past position, please, why is it here? Why is the Three of Cups here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? In the past position. getting the seven of pentacles the seven of swords and the page of wands okay so <clears throat> what i'm getting from the sense of this is <clears throat> excuse me with the three of cups so for some of you that there was a third party situation happening here there was a sense of betrayal and sneakiness possibly even theft here and there was a sense of something not growing and just being on the verge of maybe some traveling, this person could have been at a distance from you. But the Page of Wands is being full of passion and exploring their options. And I feel like here 
you may have been or they may have been. Somebody here was exploring their options because things were just not happening the way they were supposed to be. For others of you, I feel like you were in an overall good place, a happy place, but there was a sense of deception, the sense of something that didn't feel quite right. Maybe someone's behavior or actions were less than desirable, and there was this feeling of maybe some guilt or some dishonesty took place here. And again, <clears throat> there was a sense of wanting to you know, travel. Uh, things just were not coming we're not growing as they were supposed to be. There was not growth here is what I'm seeing. And, you know, this could have been you offering as well because the Page of Wands can be a messenger. But you could have been offering this person a compromise as a way to kind of have patience with them, even though there was a sense of deceptiveness. But I feel like you were offering them maybe even a compromise here. So let's see why your person has the Eight of Cups. Why is Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus person? Have the Eight of Cups and the past energies, please. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Leo's person? Please clarify. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm getting anxiety. So they were just, they were definitely up in their head. They were a lot, a lot of fear, a lot of worries, a lot of anxiety about a passionate new beginning. They wanted something new to come in, something that sparked some passion. Yeah, but things were definitely not balanced here. Justice is here indicating that there was definitely something that was not equal between the two of you. Why is the Five of Wands here, please, as the energy between Leo and this person in the past? Why is the Five of Wands here? You know, there could have been an offer that was made to them that had them very stressed out as well. And it could be a Libra that made this offer for some of you, which would indicate this third party situation. Yeah, there was conflict about this coming to an end. Yeah, this was definitely for some of you a third party situation because somebody wasn't willing to work here. They had other options. They were keeping their options open is the sense that I get. Or exploring other options. There was a sense of dissatisfaction here. Alright, why is the High Priestess here in the current energy for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is the High Priestess here? Thank you. Okay, so we got the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, <laughs> and the Page of Swords. Very interesting. Okay, so what I'm getting is things haven't been revealed yet. I feel like you're wanting to bring forth an offer here to this Queen of Cups, to your person, your Cancer, your Pisces, your Scorpio. But there is a need to communicate some truth. There's things that have not been revealed here. Now, this night is moving very slowly, and I feel like you're moving very slowly because you're unsure of yourself at this moment. But this page of swords, they speak the truth because they gather the truth. Interesting. Why does your person have the Four of Cups? Why does Leo's person, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, have the Four of Cups in the current energy for the Spirit Team? Why is the Four of Cups here? We're getting the Nine of Cups. So they're definitely wanting to be happy. That's too many. There, there is a sense of wanting to be happy here. But they're not, they're currently not, they're currently, they're not in a place of being sad or hurt. They're just not feeling very well. Yeah, there's high priestess. There's things that have not, that they're not revealing to you either. There's secrets on this person's side and we have the empress. So there's something about nurturing, growing. There's some, could be some cases of fertility here. There is a sense of juggling and wish fulfillment and again, needing to bring things into balance and heal before being able to come forth and offer a cup of a love or even an apology, I feel. Interesting. <clears throat> what is the page of pentacles here as the energy between Leo and their person? And current energy, please. Why is the page of pentacles here? Okay, we have the king of cups. That is that equal partner to that Queen of Cups, the Lovers, and the 
nine of wands okay so the offer on the table is you know for stability i feel being in control of emotions being you know gentle and guiding and i feel like this you know there is a there is this offer for beautiful love for you know even very soulmate type of love here when you have the king and the queen of a suit together in the same spread this is an indication of a very strong connection but and this is between the both of you, like you both of you are feeling this way. It's not one sided or the other. There is this offer that wants to be made from both sides here, but there is this overall sense of defensiveness, like that wounded wire warrior who's tired and exhausted from the struggle for the weight. All right. So why does Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus have this Ace of Cups in future energy, please? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Leo? Yeah, we have the King of Wands. So this is definitely you offering this cup of love. Yeah, you want to, you want to, if you are in separation, you want to reconcile with this person. If you're not in separation, you want to renew this love and have a reason to celebrate again. I feel like this has been very taxing on you, Leo. Yeah, there's a lot of regrets here. There's a lot of sadness and grief over what was lost. You're wanting to, you know, renew this. Because you see this person as your overall happiness, your ten of cups. Your complete and complete emotional happiness. Okay, why do they have the three of swords? Why does Leo's person have the three of swords? Future energy, please. Why is the three of swords here for Leo's person? of pentacles ace of pentacles the hanged man okay so what i'm getting is they're honing on or honing back because of past heartbreak the past painful situation that has been here between the two of you they're wanting a new opportunity but they're not taking any action towards it why is the justice as the energy between the two why is justice here as the energy between the two <laughs> okay, so we got the Ten of Wands and the the Strength card here indicating, you know, this is you and your element. This is feeling stressed out, overburdening, ready to lay that burden down, bring things into balance, or quite a final judgment here. It's taking a lot of strength and courage, I feel, for you to be in control of your emotions. Leo, I feel like you're trying to stand in your own element here. We have the Emperor which is indicated now we have the emperor and empress. So this is definitely a strong connection. This has got you both at a crossroads, needing to make a decision one way or the other to walk away or to take action because the sense of boredom, the sense of instability and not any taking action at all is not really fulfilling either one of you. You can't stay in this, in this energy forever. So what I'm getting here with the emperor is somebody needs to take control here to balance out things, to, to end this very stressful time period, and to kind of be able to move things forward to make a overall finished decision to get back to that place in the sun, Leo, and take that proverbial leap of faith. Very interesting. Very good. Let me know down in the comments below if this resonated. I'm going to throw some soulmate oracle cards out here and a couple of romance angels and... Then we'll do a, a vice card from God, the goddesses to close it out. So we had three pop out. We have adventure awaits. Go for it. We have, according to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their powers, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search for, of their other halves. So this is indicating that for some of you, this is your twin flame or that you're on the twin flame journey. Beautiful energy. And Leo, all you need is to believe in yourself. How empowering is that? I love these cards. All right, Spirit Team, what kind of romance angels do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus?
We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you, what this, you know, what I feel this is, is like this is, you know, maybe not actual engagement. Some of you, it may be, but I feel like this will be an actual commitment that is going to come between the two of you. Getting back to that, you know, very happy place. Someone here needs to release their ex. The time has come to clo to clean, clean your energy. Um, now, that could be this third party, somebody holding on to some feelings from somebody in their past, in past relationship. You or them. Take it as it resonates, but somebody needs to release those feelings. Release whatever grudges are being held. And it doesn't even always need to be, you know, happy, joyous memories of love or something like that. This could be just anger or past things that happen. It doesn't even have to be technically a relationship with a person. It could be a relationship, well, it would be with a person, but it doesn't have to be with like a romantic partner. It could be a, re a relationship with anybody. There is a sense of codependency to here with the car codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So somebody has some addiction issues that they're dealing with and doesn't always have to be alcohol or drugs. It could be a, like... Someone could be very codependent on somebody else in a relationship to kind of get them through. And you will know if that resonates with you. And let go of control issues. Let this situation unfold naturally. Beautiful, Leo. Now, you can't control it. You have to let things happen as they're supposed to in the time that they're supposed to happen. All right, Spirit Team, can I get one Goddess God Me card to close out Leo's reading, please? What's the best message that you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for this reading? Thank you. Yeah, we have Be Strong coming through. And it has a very, very beautiful message here. And it says, You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. See yourself as strong and victorious. Don't complain about anything. Don't blame anyone or any condition. You're the embodiment of strength, not victimhood. As you rise above old tendencies and see yourself in the new light of beautiful feminine energy, your life will automatically shift in miraculous ways. You'll attract new opportunities, forms of abundance, and relationships to help you manifest your highest potential. Be strong means seeing yourself in the most favorable light you can imagine. Be real. Allow yourself to feel genuine emotions. But most of all, be strong. So remember, we all have that masculine and feminine energy within us. So what it's saying is tap into that feminine energy and stand in your power. Leo, you're, our, you're automatically the card of strength. You, you are strength. You are the definition of strength. So various meanings of this card, don't underestimate yourself. Absolutely. Don't yield to pressure or temptation. Avoid complaining or indulging in negative thinking. So that's basically saying, you know, keep your thoughts positive, be strong, stand in your power, tap into that feminine energy within you to strengthen yourself at this time. All right, Leah, that's all I have for you. Please make sure to hit this, the like button to get this circulating for everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe so that you get these messages as they are released each week or to get the other messages that I release during any given week. That being said, remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.